So stage three is, this is where women I have noticed will start to come to me and they're they're way more serious about their skincare. They're willing to um, spend a little bit more money. They are, they pay attention more. This is when they start to see the fine lines and wrinkles and not only the fine lines and wrinkles, but these wrinkles where, you know, if they're expressionless, they see just these like, you know, fine, fine lines and just some slight creases in their skin. The uneven skin skin tone now is a little bit more noticeable. Their nasolabial folds are also more noticeable. Um, and so this is just stage three. Now, stage three, we are now right in the middle between treatment and further prevention, okay? But we're now we're going from just completely prevention to treatment, okay? So um, this is where you can do, again, based on their skin, but this is where you can um, do more, a little bit more assertive peels on their skin uh, to address the hyperpigmentation that's now forming. Um, if they have lighter skin, you can do some microneedling on their skin. You can maybe start to introduce retinol if their skin can tolerate it. If they, if you're living in a um, in a state that has lots of sun, then you may want to introduce that retinol-based product in the winter time. So when their skin is becoming inflamed, and you know it, it can be a little bit more reactive, the sun is not as strong. Okay, so with my personal clients, I don't want a lot of that what I call kickback where they're using um, an aggressive or assertive treatment and then it your skin kind of fights back and actually starts to age a little bit more. Um, so I do introduce um, a series of microcurrents to my clients or um, radio frequency but that just depends on their skin type. Okay. The Light also can be used as a part of, of a treatment protocol as well. Now their skin tone here, this is also where you will slowly start to see some signs of a little bit of not as much elasticity and sagging. And usually the area that you're gonna see this is around the eye area, as well as maybe the jawline area right here or you know right here. So those are the areas that you want to pay attention to um, as far as really determining where they are between stage two and stage three of the skin aging. This is also the time too that when they're gonna start to see these little fading, you know, just, just like little um, age spots starting to appear. And some women will just ignore that and then in their 40s when it's, it's you know when it, when it actually is very apparent that they have them that's when they'll come to see you and that's when you're going to have to tell them that it's you know it's going to take a little bit more time but if you have a client where you yourself can see that they have these you know, slowly these age spots or fine lines and wrinkles, you can give them some suggestions on how to treat this and 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 um, basically slow down the um, the appearance of those those aging by including some of the more assertive treatments. Stage two and three is where I do start to recommend skin supplements because um, a lot of the prevention can still happen at the cellular level. 